just uh, earlier, well, last week, I guess now, I was playing that game Luguru, which is like the first thing from the Home of One People. Uh, this is the sequel. Luguru. Oh, I don't think I've seen the current build played either. Yeah. I was playing it when it was just in like tech demo oh. territory, so I'm curious to see what single player is like. It's got controller support. That's nice. I remember when they started making this, the graphics were just like years ahead of anything else that was on the market, and it seemed so cool. And then by the time it was finished, that was no longer the case, but it was still very impressive. Actually, still pretty impressive animation tech under the hood. Mm -hmm. Interesting Would you mind resharing this one to me? Huh? Would you mind sharing this one to me? Oh, sure. Get some real-time feedback and all that. So, okay, I like these difficulty settings, first of all, just because, like, big, wide, open eye, narrow, squinty eye, uh, something is horrible has happened here. <laughs> um, yeah, very evocative. But also, uh... Hard mode just um, makes countering harder and enemies smarter. Easy mode also slows the whole game down. Hmm. Which I will actually play on because uh, is a thing. Oh, you can play through oh. Lugaru? Oh yeah, there's like a remake in this. Um, Oh, cool. Which, let me just real quickly uh, do a level of that and see if it's... Very recognizable. Mm -hmm. uh, controller support, are you a thing? Or is that loading? I'm assuming that's loading. Uh, game? I assume that's loading. I mean, it's the maps are gigantic, as I recall, so it might take a while. Mm -hmm. Well, even just from this, which is at least on the stream, right? Yep. You can see, if you remember you know, me playing that just a few days ago, they did this nice fancy remake of it with better textures and all that for this. Yeah, that big mystic tower thing was just like a bunch of polygons. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh, look at that. So yeah, this is as direct comparison as you can get, really. Need some anti-aliasing. Oh, there's a jump button. Okay. Oh, now there's some ledge crawly stuff. Oh, is that even like a remix of the? The music? That's so, pretty yeah. well done. Mm. He did give the rabbits tits. I remember there was a big discussion about whether to do that. Mm -hmm. I oh, hate... Wait, no, okay, I did not mean to make my, this gesture when you said that. I just was testing buttons looking for how to talk. Oh, it was just a normal map. Team no tits one. Very impressive. Yeah. Worth noting about this game, too, is that it was built from the ground up to be, like, ridiculously moddable. Like, I'm pretty sure they made this tower just out of, like, basic assets and plopping them in, and then all the, like, climbing stuff isn't, like, built out of a million hot spots. This is all just procedural. Mm -hmm. Much easier to get up here in this version of it. curious if everybody still ends up naked after the fight. I'm guessing not. They took the joke out! Hmm. 
we're trying to be all like serious and grim dark now. Oh, they actually have houses now too, whereas before they just had a structure. Yep. I think he's behind you. Yeah. Hmm. One of them there assassins. Read about in the papers. Well, it keeps true to the original's uh, loading screen every every five seconds. Mm -hmm. Hey, nice to know that's in there. Uh, as a remake, that's a lot more playable, honestly. Um, especially considering, like, again, controller support is a thing. I'm definitely going to play this on my own time. Maybe I'll play this on stream now. I found my Steam stuff. Steam controller. Though I guess this must control fine with mouse and keyboard for the authentic experience. Yep. So now it's going to be just uh, leaving, I believe? I'd be curious to see you try the main overgrowth oh, story yeah, I'm going to, to see to. how I different just... it is, too, though. I just wanted to like, finish one level of this to uh, contrast to playing it just the other day. So I'm not sure how to quit the main menu from here. So I'm just wandering off the map, right? At this point in things. What was that little crouch run thing? There is now an oh, edge of the world. Oh, that's the edge of the world. Yeah. Okay, so, uh... Hmm. Uh... Can I, um... What was it? Actually, was it just escape there? No, okay. There's partial controller support. Oh, there's, a, there's like a bunch of stuff in here, uh, but kind of the actual like main plot of the game that I'm actually playing. I think I remember there were like whole fan campaigns too, since it's like so modable. Mm -hmm. what I had seen, it looks like one of those games where you could just have a lot of fun building levels and not actually playing it. Mm-hmm. Makes little squeaky sounds when they talk too, which kind of bothered me. <laughs> I need some water. I 
Are these on the maximum graphics settings? They look like medium to me for some reason. Uh, I didn't mess with it at all, so maybe. Not that important, but. Mm. Oh yeah, 800 by 600 oh, oh, wow. resolution. No wonder it looks weird. Mm. Go high and see if it breaks. No motion blur and stuff. Hmm. Right, that didn't occur to me. That would probably come with another load. Still windowed though. Uh, okay. That fits. Oh. Doesn't have to be windowed. Okay. Nice. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't start lagging because it has weird. Oh no, um, I'm sorry. You maybe not high everything, but just for a look at it, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. And I do kind of appreciate having it not in this, like, bizarre, uh, tiny window. I bet it's the 4X anti-alias thing, which might be a bit excessive. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the default 4x3 was a little weird. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, maybe I shouldn't have suggested that. It still looks cat jittery, doesn't it? It's fine on my end. Oh, weird. It's jittery on the stream now. Hmm. Sorry about that. I'll never join you. I didn't expect you to still be playing Turner. Unless this is a different Turner. No, this is a direct sequel. Someone's into a scene with those ropes there. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. a weird shirt for this sort of setting. Is it still stuttery for everybody, by the way? Uh, looks okay on Twitch, but it's okay. quite stuttery for me on Discord. Hmm, well. I the full resolution is not yet. Good sky. Keep that, because, uh. I really spaced that whatever you said. Sorry.
<laughs> Have a nap down there. You'll be fine. I love when stealth games let you do stuff like that and it'll still count as non-combat. I remember in Assassin's Creed you could push people into the water and it wouldn't count as lethal because the, it was the water that killed them. Yeah. Non-lethal takedown. <laughs> oh. This person may notice me. <laughs> Doing some things. Oh, we left somebody tied up. Right, you are. What is your deal? Are you alert? Are you blind? Because I kind of just walked past you. Oh, okay, that is the first time we're asking. No, I just knocked him out and had him go for a swim. It's fine. This control scheme is interesting, just, it kind of reminds me of, um, what I was saying when Assassin's Creed first came back to people, where I kind of wish that that kind of movement was applied to a game more directly, like, mm. hold down this button yeah. if you want to be fighting, hold down this button if you want to be sneaking, hold down this button if you want to be chatting it up, <laughs> hold down all three to be... <laughs> Persia, I guess, really. My lucky day. I just need one more speed for my quota for them. I would have liked that better if first he was like walking along the path being like, ah, oh, jeez. I can't even fill my slave quota, my boss is gonna kill me. So the rabbits still make rabbit noises, but I like how in this game they're like pitched down because it just is more plausible for a chest cavity of that size to produce that kind of noise. I like how kicking his armor makes it sound like kicking his body. That's right. Clank. 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 <laughs> Clank. Uh, oh dear, I I'm making a mess. <laughs> you monster! Not just Clank. Well, I mean... These jumps are weird. It's like something out of um, Charger Tiger Hidden Drag or something like that. Just let me go up now. Yeah, they do look very wire worky. I guess that's true to Lugaru. Well, plus with the like wind sounds too that it makes. Trying to be stealthy again. Apparently it was. Mm. <laughs> I also love how like the personality of our protagonist here is just like straight up mass murderer. I guess he's kind of used to it by now. Mm -hmm. It's like all he knows. He not sure of naked though this time. This is a good like crouch speed.
flop. I'm glad they still allowed you to botch jumps. I just walked fired. up and punched uh, that one guy in the back of the head. Yep. That was kind of cool. Whoa, that was really cool. <laughs> nice. You okay there? Ooh. No, I see, like, I thought the gore oh, effect... one's actually holding his injured shoulder. Hmm. Sorry, what were you saying? I was going to say, the gore effects in the first were kind of better. That just looks somebody like squiggled on there. Mm. It's just a little too red. Yep. Although I guess like highly oxygenated blood, if it's if you're like bleeding while fighting, is probably a lot redder than mm. when if you're like cut at a resting state. It's fair. Yeah, the first one has, like, very weird learning these controls is half the game controls. This has, like, super fluid, just hold down the button for the kind of thing you want to do controls, which is an interesting change of pace. Yeah, I think the difficulty in this one, at least from what I remember of watching the design videos, comes from A, being overwhelmed, B, being to time counters properly, and then, like, worrying about weapons... And then worrying about, like, wolves later. Mm-hmm. But it's so weird. This, like, this is what the... This is the guy who did Humble Bundle right here. Yes. And this is why. Wasn't it, like, a pair of brothers? I think. Wolfire games, who are not furries. They want to be clear about that. No, definitely not. Why would we think that? You really don't need to like, throw a knife at huh? Okay, fine. That landed in a nasty spot there, pal. You okay with that? I have it back? Like, that's kind of stuck. How did you live through crouch, that? I think if you crouch, you can get it back. What was that? Oh. I think if you crouch, yeah. Oh, and there it did a little slow motion thing because I think he wasn't dead until you pulled it out. I mean, that was kind of stuck right between his eyes. Like Those skulls are thick. I got messed up by that a little bit. Oh, there's somebody. Yeah. 
Crew's knife, huh? Oh, you're in a bad way. A little bit. Which has more realistic gore, this or the last game? I mean, that was a tough question. The last game had those weird, like, leathery paper bag on the floor decals. Yeah. This one has the doodly line of blood. I think the last one had doodly line blood. I guess it could, yeah. I mean, it's more realistic blood than a lot of games that have, like, big blood splat decal yep. everywhere there's damage. Mm-hmm. I always found the knife combat in this and Lugaro kind of creepy because of like how like not cinematic the stabs are. People just get like cut mid fight. Yeah. It's, it's kind of jarring. It's a little distressing. And then the knife sticks in and wherever it happens to land. If you throw it, it's just like ye. I like this environment. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is a pretty darn pretty game for being a very indie sort of thing. And that does not look like the stablest way to make a bridge. Definitely not furries, though. Nope. That little scrunchie. Calling you some backwoods rabbit. Okay. How are you? Sorry. I like the rats, they look cool. Hmm? In this or in general? Oh, I, I think rats look cool in general, now you mention it. <laughs> well, that's a good time to learn that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess I'm not crossing that bridge just yet. Multiplayer too. I'd love to play this with you in multiplayer. Uh, does it? I didn't notice the option, but uh, I can double check. Hmm. I'll have to check. Yeah. Well, like there's, there's a third game, I think, or one of the other like scenario packs in this one, if I recall, where you're like leading an army in the desert with this same. Oh, neat. power then, huh? I'm not really seeing one. I mean, was there more just on the path? Like this way? Or did the path end at the waterfall? And the path kind of ends at the waterfall. Or up this mountain. It's probably easier to navigate if you're on trying to get into the skybox.
spider and climb it. That was pretty good until it wasn't. Okay, that's actually one of them there invisible walls. Down, hurry now. I feel like that, like rushing air whenever you jump. Mm. Kind of nice touch. Still not seeing a tower. Oh, well, I guess there is a tower. Wait, do I have to actually cross that bridge after all? Just not, you know. Maybe you can make it. the jump. Well, hi, morning. If I don't overshoot that part of it, I think I can. Yeah, there we go. It makes me like, why do they even need a bridge then? But then again, I don't think everyone in this world is a ninja. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're in trouble there. Okay, sorry. I, I misread that. Good uh, death recovery. And that's right, Prince of Persia. I like how it's covered in scratch marks, like this is a common wall running space. Mm -hmm. Like indie team, more like just indie individuals. Yep. There's more to be, though, I think, working on this. And this was like a matter of building the engine. This is not like an Unreal game. Mm -hmm. You want your knife back? Turner really is in murder mode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, since you call it plot of the first game, it's just like, your family got killed, so you just, like, murder everyone at all responsible. And then this game is like, okay, time to go start a new life somewhere. Actually, no, let me murder some more people. <laughs> That's all I know now. You've just got to murder everyone that doesn't let you live a peaceful life. like cinematic rush up there in the second one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those knife hits are vicious. I can't, if anyone was curious, besides me. 
I don't know if it's going to be a mechanic in this one, but there was a subtle thing in Lugaru original, as I recall, where you could, like, wipe the blood off your knife before going into an area, because wolves would be able to smell it if you still had a bloody knife. go into the mob boss's tower and be like, sup, I killed your your dudes. Mm -hmm. I'm in your base. Oh, there is one I haven't heard or thought about in a long time. <laughs> Definitely not a furry game, though. <laughs> Turner is definitely too into this. I see they kept it, uh, <laughs> the design element from the old game that, <laughs> yeah, uh, jump kicks are like one of the strongest attacks in the game. Mm -hmm. This game did read the uh, Game of Thrones series clearly. I don't. Are small rabbits called kits? I don't know, but I'm not the furry who designs games and says I'm not a furry. I mean, I know I know those terms for many animals, but not mm -hmm. rabbits. That line actually kind of annoys me because that only makes sense if, like, summer has cultural significance, mm. which I'm not sure it does in this. Mm. Yeah. Fair point. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's, like... Ow. Ow. A good taste of this. A couple more things on the list tonight. I just wanted to finish up the Empowered Baby O's, so... Let me maybe double check if, you, if there was, uh, in fact, a multiplayer mode that I missed. Uh, not that I'm seeing. Hmm. But yeah, that is Overgrowth. Um, like, for a weird, furry, sick, hardcore rabbit ninja game, it's pretty good, actually. <laughs> 